brace yourselves, guys, because there may be some scenes in this video that will shock you. So today's video is 22 karat gold magnetic. If you guys follow my channel, we've done the test on 24 karat gold and 24 karat gold is not magnetic. However, we know that with 10 karat, with 14 karat, with 18 karat, with 22 karat gold, they mix these golds with various metals, various alloys in order for the gold to be more durable in regards to jewelry. So today's test is 22 karat gold magnetic. 22 karat gold versus heavy duty magnet. And just so you guys know, we're not playing with any Mickey Mouse magnet. I've got a heavy duty magnet on the table right here. And I'm going to show you guys. I've got a quarter that's on top of this magnet. And you can see how this magnet is holding onto that quarter because of the steel and the nickel plating that is on this Canadian quarter right here. And this is not your average magnet. This is a heavy duty magnet. So we've done the test, guys. 24 karat gold, a 24 karat solid gold bar is not magnetic, but is 22 karat gold magnetic? Now brace yourselves, guys, because there may be some scenes in this video that will shock you as mentioned. Now, guys, 22 karat gold is non-magnetic because the alloys are not magnetic, but there may be some scenes here that may shock you guys because... When I hover this magnet over this 22 karat gold chain right here, you will see it wants to pick it up, guys. And my first reaction was like, what the hell? I'm getting into my car right now. I'm driving down to the jewelry store. I bought this chain and I'm about to break some necks and break some glass, right? But guys, it is actually the clap in my chain so it turns out that they do put metals maybe there is steel in this clamp right here to make this more durable because you know especially with 22 karat gold it is only 90 percent it's 91 percent gold and there's alloys in there to make it more durable because they say that 24 karat gold is very soft so in order for your chain not to break they actually put some steel inside the clamp, the lobster clamp right there. And so you will notice if you have 22 karat gold chain, you may want to test it because the rest of this chain is not magnetic. As you can see, it is not magnetic, but the clamp wants to get picked up right there, as you can see. And the same goes for this one. Now, this chain is a little bit heavier because it's about 20 grams. So you can see here that the whole chain is not going to want to get picked up by this magnet. It is not magnetic at all. But when you get over to the clamp, it starts to move, guys, and it wants it wants to pick up. However, this chain is quite heavy. This is a 20-gram chain, so it's not going to be metal. But you can see here the clamp wants to stick to that. Now, my initial reaction was like, I'm getting in my car right now. I'm about to break some glass. You sold me a fake gold chain. It's not supposed to be magnetic. but it makes sense, guys, that they would put some steel inside the clamp to make it more durable. Because we know solid 24 karat gold and gold for that matter, even 22 karat gold is very soft, especially when it comes to jewelry. And you don't want this breaking on you while you're walking down the street and your chain falls off and you don't even know. So there is a little bit of steel in this clamp right here. And that is what is getting picked up by the magnet. As you can see, the rest of the chain does not want to be magnetic but that clamp just wants to stick to it right there so there you have it guys is 22 karat gold magnetic no but maybe if you're wearing a gold chain the clamp in that gold chain may be anyways guys like i said there may be some scenes in this video that may shock you. I was I was ready to go down to the jewelry store and break some necks and break some glass. But it makes sense that they would put steel in there to make it more durable so it doesn't break off your neck when you're walking down the street. And as you can see here, like the rest of the chain does not is not magnetic at all. Like it does not want to stick to that at all. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna leave it at that. Catch you in the next one. 22 karat gold versus heavy duty mag.